Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drum Body Modular Groove Box. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can use the buffer input to create interesting effects. So let's start clicking on the plus sign, go under the generator category and load in FLX sample. Let's click in here where it visualizes the waveform to load a sample of your choice. In this case, I load a uh, previously imported sample. Let's click on done and let's click uh, on one of the keys just to listen to uh, the sample that I have imported into the Flexi sampler. <laughs> Now, I added also a mixer here, and um, from the um, from the mixer category, and the mixer so that I can control the volume on the flexi sample. And I'm going to connect for this uh, example uh, the mixer directly to the flexi sample, so you will hear again the sound from the sample. Okay, perfect. Now let's add between the flexi sampler and the mixer and the generator uh, at the very bottom a uh, buffer rack now let's uh, connect the uh, buffer rack to the flexi sampler one which is already done by default and then let's uh, uh, connect um, <coughs> also the buffer to the mixer so what happens now is that the buffer will take a sample from the flexi sampler and will repeat that sample continuously and the length of the sample or the buffer that is repeated is determined by the pitch dial here so now the reason that you keep hearing the same sound is that um, uh, the buffer is reinitialized every time that it receives the trigger but in this example the flexi sampler also is restarted every time it receives a trigger which is the same trigger that goes to the buffer so to make it more interesting let's add a trigger button so under the utility category let's scroll down to the button and let's add a, a trigger button and then connect the flexi sampler one to the trigger button but ensure that the buffer is still trigger via the MIDI to CV trigger. So what happens in this case is that I click in on the trigger button, I can reset the flexi sampler in terms of restarting um, the play of that sample. And uh, every time I click instead on the keyboard, if the, same, the MIDI event goes for the MIDI to CV rack, it's converted to a CV signals, and for that uh, um, also is also triggering the buffer rack to sample a part of the output of the flexi sample which we will hear in the mixer so and in this case the two will be asynchronous to each other and therefore i will be able pressing on the key to continue the samples different parts of the output from the flexi sample so let's try Please pay attention to the pitch that determines the length and um, of the buffer being played, as just mentioned. So let's try again to we will re trigger the flexi sampler like so. It will restart. You can see the vertical green uh, line which has restarted. And let's increase the buffer dial in the mixer and uh, play again on the keyboard to hear different uh, sampled uh, parts inside the buffer. And of course, if you uh, if you repeatedly click or press the same note, it, it will almost uh, sound like the uh, the plane, uh, the normal plane from the flexi sampler because uh, it will be continuously sample pa sampling part directly from the flexi sampler. So you can obtain some interesting effects um, using the buffer, um, which you can add, of course, to your composition.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Now you know how to use the buffer rack. See you next time. Bye.